praise, praise, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. I say good morning to you, blessed and highly favored of God. I welcome you to today's edition of Morning Your Prayers this glorious Sunday morning, today being the 20th of October, 2024. I declare over you and your household that even as God has made this day and you are a part of it, you shall rejoice and you shall be glad in the mighty name of Jesus. God remains faithful and his faithfulness and his love and his compassion shall be round about you, shall be upon you, such that your joy shall be complete even this glorious day throughout this week and for the remaining days of this month and forever in the mighty name of Jesus. We are still in the month of October, our month of the wonders of God. Hallelujah. I pray for you this glorious Sunday morning. You shall experience God's wonder in diverse ways in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, there are so many ways that the enemy keeps chasing us to keep us in bondage or to recapture us into a state of oppression. The devil wish and desire is to place you in a state of defeat. And many times we are overwhelmed by the challenges that we find ourselves. Let's not be deceived into thinking that you failed because you did not work hard enough, or probably you failed because you did not pray enough, or maybe you didn't prepare enough. There are many things that you cannot do for yourself. And these are the times when we need God to arise on our behalf and perform a wonder. You see, the children of Israel endured slavery and oppression for 430 years. And a day came when Pharaoh let them go. Amen. They were on their way to freedom. And Pharaoh changed his mind. Can you imagine? He changed his mind. He wanted to recapture them. Amen. They were on their way to freedom. And before them stood the Red Sea. Behind them, Pharaoh was already coming to recapture them. And at that point, the Red Sea stood as an obstacle. But they needed to go into their state of freedom. And they needed God to arise to perform a wonder. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Exodus 15, 16 to 6 to 8. Exodus 15, verses 6, 7, and 8. The Bible says, Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Amen. It says, Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. In the greatness of your excellence, you have overthrown those who are against you. You send forth your wrath. Amen. It consumed them like stubble. And when the blast of your nostrils, and with the blast of your nostrils, the waters were gathered together, the floods stood upright like a heap, the depths congealed in the heart of the sea. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Beloved, God arose for the children of Israel and he parted the Red Sea for them. Their obstacle, their hindrance, everything that they thought would be dashed, God arose and he performed a wonder at the time that they needed an intervention. I'm praying for you and your entire household this season. God will arise for you at the time you need an intervention and it will perform a wonder. A wonder that will bring you out of every form of bondage and obstacle, every form of hindrance, limitation, such that you can be who God has called you to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Today, as we pray, every hindrance to your deliverance shall be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to start with a prayer of thanksgiving just to appreciate God for giving us life because where there is life, there is hope. Amen. Let us thank God for his faithfulness over our lives, over our families, and indeed over the church of God. I want you to lift up your voice today and begin to thank God. Just thank him in your own way. You could sing a song to him. You could remind him for all the things he has done. You could thank him for his mercy, for his protection, for going out and coming in, for how he has helped you, how he has sustained you, how he has fought your battles, how he has given you victory. I has made a way where there seems to be no way. I has given you hope. I has sent one or two helpers in your direction just to assist you, to push you to a better place than you were before. Let's thank him because there's so much that we can look back to and say, Father, we are grateful. Let's thank him this morning. 
He said we should enter his gates and his courts with thanksgiving, with appreciation, rejoicing and telling him how great a God he is. He is our Savior. The Bible says that his eyes are running to and fro the whole earth, searching for those whose hearts are loyal to him so that he could show himself strong on their behalf. Let's thank God because if not for God that's been on our side, many will not be alive even today. Father, we are grateful. We thank you for the privilege of life. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for all that you continue to do for us individually, as a family, and as a church. We are grateful. We return glory to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And God shall accept your thanks and praise and worship and appreciation in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I'm going to pray for you. And I pray that every obstacle blocking your, your, your destiny, every obstacle, blockage, and hindrance that the enemy has placed before you and your victory shall be parted for your sake, even right now, this season, in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that it shall be a performance of wonders of God to the amazement of all your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that's been an obstacle, a blockage, a hindrance, all limitations that will not allow you to fulfill your destiny, that will not allow you to walk in dominion, that will not allow you to be who God has called you to be, that will not allow you to live in peace and joy. Today, I pray for you. All of such, God will arise for you. It will perform a wonder and your enemies will be amazed and you will enter into your state of dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, I pray for you and your entire household. God shall arise in this wonder and silence every discerning voice speaking against your promotion, your victory, your favors, your enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, one thing that I can tell you is that there was a voice that held the children of Israel captive for over 400 years. Amen? Even when Moses engaged Pharaoh by the leading of God, and he was saying to Pharaoh, let my people go. Even probably all his aides and his ministers and his cabinet, maybe they were saying, come, let these people go. So many things have happened. God has performed wonders. And Pharaoh's voice kept saying no. And until that voice was subdued, there was no way that the children of Israel were able to be liberated. But a day came when God performed a wonder that broke down Pharaoh, that broke him down, and he said to the people, Moses, take your people, go and serve your God. And even bless me. Amen? That voice had to be silenced before they were able to get into their place of dominion. I declare over you again, every wicked and evil voice speaking against your long-awaited promotion and favor shall experience the wonder of God in this season, and they shall be silenced forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Every discerning voice that has been speaking against you in your place of work, where you work, in your livelihood, even in your family, in the church of God, where your promotion has even matured, and there's a voice that says, no way, I pray for you today. That voice will receive the wonder of God, and the voice will be silenced forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, I pray for you by the power in the name of Jesus. God shall send you help in the time of need in the mighty name of Jesus. As he sent help to the children of Israel when they were at the Red Sea, if the help had come after them, Pharaoh would have captured them. It would have been, you know, the help wouldn't have been beautiful. It wouldn't have been awesome if he had delayed. There's a time and a season when you need your help. When the help comes at the right time, then it's glorious. Then it's joyous. Then it can liberate. It can serve the purpose for which it had come. I pray for you today. God will send you help at the right time. Your help will come at the time of your need in the name of Jesus. You shall not be stranded in that situation. In that challenge, help comes your way right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, I declare over you, your household, God shall perform a wonder. In this season of the wonders of God, 
God shall perform a wonder that will overthrow all those who continue to rise against your advancement in life, in business, in ministry, concerning your family, your loved ones, your parents, your siblings, your spouse, your children, in the name of Jesus. Every gang up against you in the place of business, in the place of your project, in your livelihood, everywhere people have ganged up against you, I pray that they will see the fire of God upon them and they will flee before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that says no to your advancement, today all of such comes to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, as the Lord lives, you shall experience a new dimension of freedom, spiritually, emotionally, financially, in the name of Jesus. Freedom to walk in dominion is released afresh upon you, in the name of Jesus. Freedom to be who God has called you to be is released upon you, in the name of Jesus. Freedom to be the great man, woman that God has created you to be is released upon you in the name of Jesus. The wonder of God will perform a miracle that will set you free from bondage, from oppression in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you, the wonders of God will produce lasting fruits of greatness in your life, in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. As you praise God today in open heaven service, there shall be a new beginning of rejoicing in your household in the mighty name of Jesus. This week is blessed for your sake. As you go out and come in, God will be with you. His presence will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. I declare, as you step out today, lines will begin to fall upon you in pleasant places in the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty hand of God will carry you. It will sustain you. It will deliver you. It will cause you to be placed in your place of joy in the name of Jesus. Every of your sorrow, I declare, it turns to joy today in the name of Jesus. Every difficulty in your life is turned around in the name of Jesus. Heavy burdens upon you that has weighed you down emotionally, financially, spiritually, materially, all of such is lifted for your sake in the name of Jesus. Depths that has kept you sunk in, that will not allow you to make progress, that allows that th that makes you to hide away in secrecy. All of those depths are being paid in a special way through the wonders of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that you are free. You are free indeed. And great shall be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Today, I release the blessing of God upon you in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The blessing of the Lord will cause you to triumph in victory and your joy shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I declare you will experience diverse miracles in this season of the wonders of God in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Lord bless you. Shalom.